Tell me ready. Ready. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you to this morning, this afternoon, that what you're doing, what you're about to do. We bind every work of the enemy that will try to intercept or interfere the plans of God here today. That your purpose shall be manifest, God. Your will shall be done. In the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over the service right now. Every assignment of Satan has been put to not, will not be able to manifest in Jesus' name. I plead the blood of Jesus over my tongue. I plead the blood of Jesus over the service. I plead the blood of Jesus over me. And everybody that's listening right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be accepted as sight. Oh, Lord, my strength and my redeemer. As I speak out, it's the Holy Spirit speak out. Holy Spirit, have your way. Bring forth revelation. Bring forth wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Bring forth the supernatural, miraculous acts of God with signs and wonders and miracles in the mighty name of Jesus. As you increase, I will decrease. I pray right now, the words that I speak is from the Holy Spirit that one life will be changed, or maybe several lives, or many can be changed for the glory of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Therefore, the Holy Spirit will move today like never before in the name of Jesus. He's already welcome. He's already here. Thank you for the fire. The Holy Ghost is here. Thank you for the anointing right now in Jesus' name that someone will be prospered today and life will be changed around in the mighty name of Jesus. And God will give you glory and praise and honor in the mighty name. Of Jesus, and we love you right now for what you're doing. We love you right now for what you're about to do in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the church. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Welcome, Amen. Facebook, Amen. Those alive here today. We welcome you today. We have a hot service, a hot from the press, from the ready from the kingdom of press, kingdom of God press. Amen. And I'm gonna be talking today with no weapon form against you shall prosper. A favorite scripture, one of the, everybody's favorite scripture is Isaiah 54. Verse 17, amen. This is a very powerful scripture. We use it all the time, amen, to help people's life change around and defeat the purpose of the enemy and brings in the purpose and the plans of God like never before, amen. So right now, I'm going to get into it and go to your Bible to Isaiah 54, 17, amen. Hallelujah. Someone say hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. And I'm reading from the Amplified Bible. And it says this, no weapon that is formed against you, amen, will succeed. And every time that rises against you in judgment, you will condemn. This peace, righteousness, security, and triumph over the opposition is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And this is their vindication for me, said the Lord, amen. Now, we heard this many times. When you hear the word no weapon means whatever assignment, whatever plot, whatever scheme the enemy is trying to do, it won't work. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to read it from the, uh, the Message Bible. And it says that, say this, but no weapon that can hurt you has ever been forged, has ever been come forth in Jesus' name. Any accuser who takes you to court will be dismissed as a liar. This is what God's servant can expect. I see it. I will see to it that everything works out for the best God's decree. Amen. So here we have that God is talking about. There are many weapons that have been formed out there to you, assigned to assigned against you, and accused of the brother Satan. Now we have to understand this. The accuser of the brothering, me sister, our brother, is Satan. Amen. Now, he causes confusion. He causes illusion. He causes separation, division, discord, but he can among one another. He caused you to be sick. He caused you to uh, die before time. Whatever he can do, he will try to do it. Amen. So the Bible says, no weapon. In other words, whatever plot and scheme that the enemy is trying to do against you, it won't work. But see, when we speak that word, we got to believe that word will work for you. Amen. The word of God said, faith coming by hearing, hearing the word of God. And when you hear that word, you got to believe that word. It's going to work for you. Amen. God's not going to put something there. It's not going to work. So this is a, a, a verse that will vindicate for you, will fight for you. Amen. Because it's God's decree for it to work for you. Amen. It's God's will for work for you. In other words, I don't care what it looks like, what it seems like. That God is saying that now maybe something is coming against you on your job and your business and your marriage and your children and your family. With every area of your life, God is saying, I don't care what it looks like. I want you to know that this weapon that is formed against you will not be able to work. It will not prosper. It will not manifest. Amen. It only will manifest 
If we allow it to manifest, if we believe it can, amen. Most of the people are living in fear, amen, because they believe what they see without believing what the word of God says. Now, I can understand the people in the world believe it because they don't have a relationship with Jesus. But we, as the body of Christ, should take that word and, and really, uh, really take, take, take it seriously and believe what it says. God is not going to say something. And not going to do, not going to, he already done did it, shall do what he says. There's many things that is coming against us, especially the time that we're living in. The enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And he's trying to deceive you that these weapons that are coming against you will prosper. Amen. Don't you know that God knew the weapons that's out there before you know it? Don't you know that God already has already predestined, ordained for you to be safe in him? Your people say, be safe. And I tell them, you can only be safe through Jesus Christ. Your own cannot be safe. And you cannot be safe in your own self. You cannot protect yourself better. You can shoot someone with a gun. That's not going to do something. Because there will be somebody else raised up to try to kill you. Amen. But he says that no weapon that is out there against you will be able to prosper. It will not be able to manifest. Amen. In other words, God said there's many things that is coming against you. Amen. In more ways. Amen. But whatever is out there, it will not be able to perform against you. Amen. Amen. You got to believe when you speak that word, it's going to work for you. I never again, when I went to court on something, amen, it was my fault, amen, I was in a three-car accident. My ex-husband, he was driving, I shouldn't let him drive, amen, he had, his license was not there, and, and it was a three-car accident, and we was uh, in the middle, and I said, God, I'm sorry. I told my ex-husband, get over, get over, you're wrong, amen, I should never let you drove, amen, and I said, God, I'm wrong because I allow him to drive, but what I did, I asked God, forgive me for what I did immediately because I was wrong. But through the ordeal, we had to go to court. Amen. Because the people that hit us did not really want to pay for pay the uh, damage to the cars. Amen. So I went to court. But I didn't go to court alone. I took me, me the word of God, the scripture, the word. This is what I took with me, the Bible. This here. I took the Bible with me. Amen. This is what I took with me, the Bible. But I took it in my heart. Amen. And God told me, Lois, when you go to court, since you ask for forgiveness, you're going you're gonna to come out successful. You're going to come out victorious. Amen. So I took uh, one of my sisters in Christ with me. Amen. And she was back there in the back row saying, Isaiah 54, 17. And, uh, and I was saying, Isaiah 54, 17, within my spirit, within myself, within my spirit. Amen. So every time the judge uh, asks questions, and every time I say something, and you know, and uh, every time I uh, explain to what she uh, say something, amen. And I know that these people that hit us was all company, and I know that they paid the lawyer a big price, amen, a good price, expensive price. But see, she had the book of law, a man, but I had the book of law, which is the Bible, which is the word of God, which is Jesus Christ, who is the law, amen. So I had that, amen, in my heart. So when she began to say something, the judge said, deny. He said, well, she said, wait a minute, judge. According to Session Sun so in the in the book of law, a man, as lawyers have, amen, that it says that's what they sent you, right? That was they sent you of the, the of their Bible, they called it, was the book of law. But I had the Bible, amen, the word of God. And he said, deny. He said, deny. She even went to the point that tried because he was uh, was uh, 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 was black and I was black. That that's what it was prejudice. And he said deny. And she was trying to figure out how can I defeat her? We could defeat her. And she knew the the know her book very well. But we had the word of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And so when I say it every time within my spirit, I told the cop, "Don't worry about it. God got this. God got this. Just be quiet. And be still." God got my back. God got this battle. And see, many times we are trying to figure the, uh, how to fix the problem. Many times we're trying to, fi trying to fix the problem and trying to fix the battle. And the battle has already been won. 
Amen. Amen. From the beginning to end, God won the battle for us a long time ago. And Jesus came in and make it even better. We came under the better covenant, which is the blood covenant. We're sealed by the blood, and that means that with the blood, there is heart. The word of God said, Revelation, the 12th chapter, verse 11, said we overcome the accuser, the brother by the, uh, uh, the accuser that accused the brother, which is Satan himself, by the blood of the Lamb. So therefore, we under a better covenant. So when I speak that word, the blood come out. Amen. Amen. Through the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. And the enemy cannot touch it. Amen. And then not only that, we overcome it by our testimony. Word of testimony. What Jesus did for me. So what I'm doing is testifying and saying I'm speaking the word at the same time. But at the same time, I know that I had the victory. I know that I was going to win the battle because I know what the word of God said. Because when I spoke the word, the word is if the word of God is quick and powerful in Hebrew 4:12, immediately it will move for me and do what it needs to be done in my life. So I didn't only hear the word, I echo the word and allow the word work for me in faith. Because faith is the word of God. Because Jesus is the author and the finisher of faith. So what he does, he begin and then he finished and perfect that for me to have victory in Jesus' name. And see, a lot of times, what we happen, we, we get timid and we get afraid and we look at the situation, not really trusting God, not really to believe in what he said in his word. We just take the word lightly and the word will work for you all the time. Amen. And so because of the blood covenant, it's already been defeated. Amen. Amen. I knew when I stepped in that court that I was going to have victory. Amen. They had no doubt about it. In other words, when you're in a situation, you got to believe that you already have won. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Because faith in that work is there. What to believe something if you don't believe it's going to work for you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right, the faith, the word of God will work for you each time you take hold to it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Is it quick and powerful? That means the minute you speak that word come out your mouth. It reminds me of David. Amen. When he was facing Galata. Amen. I mean, uh, uh, the giant. Amen. Uh, uh, Goliath. Amen. And some of you facing the giant right there. Amen. He told him. And when, she, when, when Saul, King Saul said, well, David, you can hold my, my hammer. Uh, what I got to come take it. He said, no, no, no. I got my own. Amen. And he said, you unprofessional. How can you, how can you defeat it? David said, I, I, I was, I'm a shepherd over sheep. When the lion and, uh, and the bear came against me, uh, God gave me power to fight them. Amen. He knew that the weapon that was there could not form against him, not could have formed against the sheep because he watched over the sheep. Well, the same thing when God thinks about us, we are his sheep. He watches over us. He protects us. He shields us from any harm and danger. So what you mean, Apostle? That everything that's come against us, we are successful. We will succeed if we believe and receive in faith. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, no, I can, I can, I can do this. But he knew that he was going to do it alone. You got to understand when something is coming against you, you got to understand that whatever is coming against you, you're able to stand up against it no matter what because of who lives in you. Realize that it says in 1 John, the fourth chapter, verse 5, say, Ye are children of God. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. You got to understand who lives in you. Come on, somebody. You got to know the greater one lives in you. You got to know that he lives in you, that you're able to stand no matter what. Amen. No matter what you challenge in your life today, some of you challenge in different areas of your life. Some of you challenge in your home be taken away. Your your car, your marriage is not working out. Your children, amen. Your job, your business, amen. Your ministry is not coming. Even the finance is not working out, amen. amen. But God said, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. In other words, it will not be, it will not succeed. See, we got to begin to take our eyes off the flesh and begin to see our eyes in the spirit, in the spirit realm. Too many people are too fleshy instead of walking in the spirit. So each time they get defeated, and you don't have to be defeated. Christ didn't go to the cross for you to defeat it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He did it all for you want to defeat it. Come on, somebody. He said no weapon. That is formed. Whatever is out there, it will not forge. It will not go forth. It will not happen. Amen. You got to believe when you speak that word that the word going to work for you. Come on, somebody. Because faith is an action word. It means it comes and take, move everything out the way. Whatever is blocking, what, what, what is blocking, what is blockage out there. 
Amen. It's move out the way. Just like they put a, uh, they, they put a roadblock. You cannot get through there if the road is blocked. Amen. You have to wait till it's clear. So I'm saying this. If, the, if Satan is putting a, a roadblock this is there and you got to wait to clear, you don't have to wait because God was already clear for you. He said, I will go before you and set the path straight. In other words, I will move everything out the way and make it smooth for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In other words, it's already done. But we got to get in that spirit that's already done. We got to get in that heart that's already done. You are not defeated. The devil wants you to think you defeated. Amen. Amen. In every Amen. your life, it may not look good. But when you begin to speak that word and meaning what you said, you have the right to say, no, no weapon form against me shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Every tongue that rise up against me just shall condemn. Amen. Then God gave you the, the, the privilege to put judgment against whatever come against you. Oh, the church. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. You got to know that you know what the word stands for. Anybody can quote the word, but if they don't believe what they the, what they're talking about, amen, it's not gonna work. Amen. 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 And so let's get back to the court uh, situation when I was in court. Amen. And every time she says something, she say deny, deny. And then the, the judge got to listen to her. <laughs> amen. And I know they pay her a whole lot of money. Amen. You can pay a person a whole lot of money, but the money is no match. Against God. Amen. Come on, somebody. There's no match against God. God is more powerful. You got to know who he is. You got to know yourself. When you speak that word, immediately the word will work for you. That's why David, when he faced Goliath, they laugh at him. The giant, the laugh, laugh at him. And look at him and say, I am a dog. This little, this little turk, this little lack is coming against me. Amen. And he laughed. But he didn't realize that David didn't come alone. Amen. Amen. And a lot of times you may feel that you're in a place that you're alone. Amen. And like Elijah told his servant, and he looked, and there were so many after them, so many chariots. And, and God said, Elijah to pray, the prophet that Elijah prayed for his servant, let him see there's more with them than against them. Amen. When you're on God's side, precious one, you are not in this battle by yourself. In fact, this ain't your battle in the first place. Why get yourself so worried, upset, amen, whatever you're going through right now? God is on your side because you belong to him. Amen. When David felt the giant, he said, I come in the name of the Lord of hosts. He had five smooth stones represent faith and grace and had a slain shot. That's not, not, that's not look, uh, 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 really look uh, uh, easy, look, uh, diff, uh, look good, it look like he's not going to defeat the uh, giant because he was big. But David knew when he spoke that and loosed those stones that he knew that he was going to win. In other words, when you get in a battle and whatever you battle, you're going, you got to believe, you got to believe. Not only you got to believe, you got to receive. In other words, when you believe God, that means you trust God. You have confidence in his word. Amen. Amen. God already did everything. Jesus is not going to go back to the cross and go and win again when he already defeated the purpose of the enemy that tried to tear you down you already a, a, a winner come on somebody amen he said i come in the name of the lord of hosts means he said, i come in the name of god but i'm not alone the host represent angelic hosts and it was he was surrounded with angels around him to protect him do you not know that your child of God, the Bible said the angels of the Lord encamp around them that fear God 24-7. There are angels assigned to you to fight your battle. There are angels assigned to you to win the battle for you. Come on, somebody. The minute that David released that uh, stone, amen, five of them, one for, uh, uh, for uh, 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 one for uh, uh, the giant and four more for the rest of them, his brother and everybody else, amen. Knock the giant down. Knock the giant down immediately. Now, little stone can't knock a giant down. But the power so behind it, it was the Holy Spirit with the angels of the power of the fire. God was behind it that destroyed the giant. Knock him down. Amen. And the minute he pulled that slain back and, 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 and let it go, it hit the giant and fell down. The angel took the stone and knocked him down. Because he said, I didn't come alone. Remember that. He didn't say I come, but he said, what that means is that he said, I come in the name of the Lord himself. 
and a host of angelic glory angels. Amen. What are you saying, Apostle? When you're in a battle and you're facing a battle that looks hard, amen, you are not, uh, uh, you don't have to worry about it. You're not alone. If, if Jesus said, I will let nobody snatch you out of my hand, he mean what he says. Amen. In other words, you're not in this battle by yourself. It's the enemy has deceived you. It's the enemy has lied to you because he won't put fear upon you. Where's your God at now? If, if, if he was there, he, he wouldn't let that happen. I come to tell you that you're not alone. Come on, somebody. The angels of the Lord is with you. Come on, somebody. Amen. Because you dwell in the secret place of the Most High. Hallelujah. Amen. Of the Almighty. Because you are a child of God. Amen. And so when he knocked the giant down, what happened? He fell down. But what David did? When he knocked down, he said, I'm going to make sure he stayed down. Make sure he don't get back up again. Mm -hmm. I'm going to destroy the plans of the enemy. If the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy, we need to kill and steal and destroy back what he, he tried to do to us. Amen. 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 We don't have no business walking in fear because greater is he that's innocent than he that's in the world. The Bible says, what should we say to all these saints in Romans 8.31? When we are attacking all this, he said, if God be for us, who can be against you? Hallelujah. Amen. You may not feel the God with you, but he's there with you 24-7. And the good news is he could be my place or somewhere else's place at the same time. he never have you alone. You're never by yourself. You just think you're alone. The devil deceiving you. Amen. Trying to strike you from believing what the word of God said in the church. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But see what David did. When he knocked the giant down with the help of the God himself who brought a host of warring angels to fight the battle with him, he literally destroyed him, cut his head off. You see, when you speak that word, you need to destroy and make sure that this don't come back again. Nahum 1 9 said, These afflictions will not return again. Means whatever you have been challenged in life, it, it cannot return. You got to believe that it's over with. Because I say, Now, how can the, the people, uh, uh, the children of God in the Old Testament, they never experience the same battle? Why are we experiencing the same battle in the New Testament? And we under a better covenant, which is the blood covenant. Somebody say, Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Don't you realize if the devil knew that Jesus was going to shed his blood for us, he would have stopped and said, don't say uh, Barnabas, say Jesus. See, they'll let you know that he's not omniscient and omnipresent. omnipotent. No, he's not. He has deceived the world. He has deceived the body of Christ. He has put the spirit of fear upon him. And my Bible says that God didn't Timothy, that God did not give you the spirit of fear, but a power. Hallelujah. The power of God and a love, the love of God and a sound mind, a mind of peace that whatever better you in, you could be content. Amen. You could be still that know that he's God. Know that he got your back. Know that he fight the battle. Know that he's with you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So what do you mean, Apostle? When you read that word, you got to believe that word going to work for you. Hallelujah. What well, good to quote the word? Anybody can quote the word. The devil knows the word. Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. When you speak that word, it speaks life. Amen. You can be yes. life to the situation where there's death there. Come on. He destroyed the giant for good. It never returned no more. God has given you the authority to destroy the giants in your life. They don't know how to return. And the only way they turn again, the enemies try and test you out. Amen. When you get delivered for something and when you get healed for something, don't think the enemy going to try to test you again and tell you where your God is. If it was there, why you keep experiencing the same thing? And you tell the devil you're a liar. I ain't going to hear what you say. Come on, somebody. I know what the word of God said. No weapon, no weapon, no weapon, no weapon, no weapon, no weapon, no weapon that is formed against me shall prosper. Amen. Amen. You got to take hold that word and believe what it says. You got to believe that it will work for you as well as work for David, work for anybody else in the Lord. Hallelujah. It will work for you as well because God is no respected person. Come on, somebody. But you got to believe when, it, when you said you got to believe that it's over with, that you will not experience that no more, that David didn't experience the giant no more in the church. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Not none of those people in the Old Testament, the characters in the Bible experienced the same old affliction again. Once they believe it and receive it, that's it. It was over with. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Faith is the key. Faith is a supernatural force that takes back. And grace is in the realm of the spirit that grace uh, uh, works already done for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Faith step in the spirit realm and put grace there. Say, I know it can work. Come on, God. Grace is there behind me. Amen. And we, when, when, when uh, Paul went to Jesus and uh, went to God and he was suffering something, a thorn in his flesh. And, and God said, my grace is sufficient. Make me how powerful grace is. And then his faith is working with it. Hallelujah. Faith activate grace. And the more you have faith, the more your grace is upon you. And it's hard for the devil to defeat you. It's hard for the devil to fight you. Because the greater one of grace is in you. And the faith is arising you. Because he is the author and the finisher of your faith. And Jesus will perfect everything when he started. The church say amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You may be a battle right now, but you already winning. See, the enemy wants to blind you and make you think he wants to strike you. He wants to destroy you in a different direction. And want you to believe and receive that God has forgotten and you lost the battle. If he did, then why did Jesus win the battle? He took the key away of a Satan, hell and death. Come on, somebody. He don't have a place to stay. He go around as a growing lion. He's not a roaring lion, but he going around as a growing lion. Trying to seek, trying to search, trying to find who he can tear down and destroy. But you got the word of God embedded you. You got to begin to speak that word. You got to begin to believe what you speak about. And that word of God will work for you. Come on, somebody. It will take everything back what's told for you. And then when you speak it, you got to believe that this will not return to you no more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, Makoye, Sata. You got to know that you know that you know. Come on, somebody. Anybody can quote the word. Anybody can speak the word. But the word has to be better your heart than believe it. Come on, somebody. Psalm 118. Let the word embed in your heart that you're not sinning against thee. In other words, let the word come real in your heart. Wherever your wherever your wherever your heart is, that's where your treasure is. Your heart should be in the word of God. The anointing come when you get in the word. The, the, the the, 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 the glory of God get even stronger when you get the word. Come on, somebody. It helps you to fight the battle. It helps you to stand. Come on, somebody. It helps you decree the things of God. And whatever's happening, you can decree to God that whatever it is that God be for you, who be against you, you already won the battle. And you don't have to you don't have to uh, uh, experience the same battle over and over again. We are the spirit of the same battle because we don't believe what we see. Not only we don't believe, we don't receive it right now. Hallelujah. When you speak that word, you got to decree that it works for you. You got to believe yes. that it works for you. Come on, somebody. You have to believe that whatever your situation is, I don't care how it is, it will be turned around. Take the limit off of God. Take the limit off his word. And the word is Jesus Christ. It says in the beginning was the word. And the word was God. And he dwelt among us in flesh. And he talked about Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Jesus. Hallelujah. He says every knee he's going to bow. And every tongue going to confess that Jesus Lord did tell you how powerful the word is. Hallelujah. See, the enemy don't want you to read the word. He don't want you to remember the word in faith. He wants you to speak the word and don't have no faith in the word that it will work for you. That same word that worked for a David will work for you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, somebody. Yes. When the, when the uh, Pharaoh was behind uh, Moses, he took the rod, represent the word, and, and, and put it to the sea, and it split the sea. Amen. And it went through. Amen. Hallelujah. When they got almost to the end, the Pharaoh released his army, the best soldiers he could. But he, his soldier was no match to God's soldier. I don't hear nobody talking. Hey, yes. Man. Hallelujah. 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 You got to know that you're not in this battle by yourself. You got to know that God will not leave you and forsake you. You got to know that God said it's already been successful. It will, no weapon will not succeed against you. It will not go no further. When you believe and speak that word, it will work for me in the court. It will work for you in the house. It will work for you in your job. It will work for your ministry. It will work for your marriage. It will work for your children. Whatever you need God to do, you got to believe that you will see what the word of God said. Because the word of God is so powerful. It's like a quick twist sword. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody say glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. I get so excited about the word when I use word. I know when I speak the word that I know the word will work for me. Hallelujah. Even though I be challenging more errors than one, but I know that the word will work for me when I take hold that word. Hallelujah. Embrace on that word. I will see the change come. Come on, somebody. See the change don't come until you embrace on that word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you're embracing the word which is and bringing his grace. Amen and hallelujah. And then you'll be able to walk the race in faith. Hallelujah. No matter what it looks like, what it seems like, no matter what come against you, you know that you're coming out on top. Hallelujah. The Bible says when a man falls seven times. But see, when you get stay down, don't get down. Then you lose your faith. But when you get up, your faith come alive again. Come on, somebody. You may be at a place that you're not down. But get up, get up, get up, and rise and shine. And let your enemy be scattered. It's time you give the devil hell. Come on, somebody. He'll give you hell. Yes. Up, huh? And tell you not gonna win, but I come to tell you, he's a liar, he's a liar, and he is a liar and a liar. Come on, somebody, you got to know the word will work for you. Come on, somebody, because great is he that's in you that he is in the world. If you're a child of God, then somebody watch you, you don't know when you use the word, you're in a situation. Somebody's seen your lifestyle, so you know what? I have seen their life, and they go through a lot, but yet they stand. I don't understand all that they went through, they still stand because they know what the word of God is. They know that when they speak that word, that faith coming back here. Hearing the word of God. Come on, somebody. They're taking that word home and, and not just to say it, but they believe and receive what the word says in the church. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. 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 He's Hallelujah. already defeated the purpose for you. That what the enemy is trying to do. Why weigh yourself out and have a heart trouble and get sick worrying about the situation when God has already won the battle for you? Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus is not going to go back to the cross and do something. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. A lot of times God got to take the scales off your eyes because you're too busy walking in the flesh and walking in the spirit. Hallelujah. Remind me of Elijah. He had to pray for the servant because he was looking at all these against us and we only two. But Elijah began to pray to God and let his eyes open and see. And let him see that's more with us against her. You need to open your eyes spiritually. If God be for you, who could be against you? Come on, somebody. You got to know that you're more than a conqueror to him that love you. Come on, somebody. He's on your side greater than you are. If he said once again, you know, let nobody snatch you, he means exactly what he says. Come on. He's not going to let the devil take you away. Come on, somebody. You belong to Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody. Somebody give him praise. Hallelujah. 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 I like what it says in the message Bible. It says this again. Hallelujah. He said, any accuser take you to court will be dismissed as a liar. Amen. And automatically, I'm going to make them a liar. While they're trying to make you look bad, I'm going to turn the table around and make them look bad. I don't hear nobody talking. Yes, oh, amen. He's going to be ready to shut up those mouths that have been talking about you. He's going to be ready to shut those mouths that the devil used to accuse you and lie on you. You just stand firm in the world. Come on, somebody. I made my mind. If you don't love it, that's okay. But the Bible says, oh, no man but love. You ain't going to get to heaven if you're going to walk like the devil. You ain't going to get to heaven if you're going to walk like the devil in the wrong ways. Hating somebody, not forgiving, but you let the devil talk to you more than God. And you talk about you got love, but you don't have love in you. Come on, somebody. The Bible yeah. says that how can you say you love me who you're not see and you can't love your brother and sister come on when you walk in God's love hallelujah and believe in his word I don't care what you challenge you I don't care what it looks like I don't hear about talking hallelujah the fire of the Holy Amen. Ghost will destroy every work of the God of, of the enemy that's coming against you that's trying to be God but ain't God hello somebody Amen. 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 thank you Jesus Thank you. Even the people afraid to drive, they don't know where they're coming and going. Amen. That's a suicide spirit, causing them to suicide, causing them to kill themselves, cause the accident. Amen. Because they worry about this and worry about that. Not trusting God, not believing his word. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man to repent. Heaven not spoken when he not do it. God cannot go back on his word. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But you understand his ways are different than ours. He thinks different than us. Come on, somebody. You yes. try to put your thinking the way God should think like you, but it don't work like that. Come on, somebody. You try to put your thoughts the way God thinks. No, it don't work like that. It's higher and greater. Come on, give him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Jesus. You got to know who you serve. The question is, do you know who you serve? People say they know who you serve. If you know you serve, then you'll be a better person than you are. You'll act different. Amen. You'll walk different. You'll live different. Come on, somebody. You'll walk yes. more in love instead of trying to find faults in somebody else. Amen. And you'll be trying to get right, amen, and understand that the weapons of warfare are not carnal, but it's mighty to God pulling down strongholds. This is amen. not a war in the flesh, amen. This is not a world that fight one another, trying to find faults in one another, trying to describe we all have sin and false short and glory. Get your house right and stop trying to find false one. You open the door for the devil, for him cause confusion. You open the door for the devil, can cause somebody to murder. Come on, somebody. You got to know that God is with you. Come on, somebody. The devil gonna try his best to put sickness on you. Just because there's symptoms there, that don't mean you got to suck it. Come on, somebody. My Bible said no weapon, no weapon, no weapon, no weapon. I mean sickness that form against you shall prosper. Whatever talk against you shall not prosper. Come on, somebody. It will not succeed. It will not succeed. It will not succeed. It will not succeed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody give a praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you quote that word, you got to mean what you say. Come on, somebody give a praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the basic Bible say, we'll be dismissed as a liar. In other words, he gonna, when they try to make you like a liar, they're going to look like a liar. When they try to make you look like a fool, they're going to come out looking like a fool. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. When they try to discredit you, they're going to be discredited. Come on, somebody. When they try to put you to shame, they're going to be put to shame. Come on, somebody. You got to know when they try to hold you hostage, you're going to turn around and they're going to be held hostage. Come on, somebody. You got to know that God is on your side. He has never left you for a but the devil wants you to think that is you are already defeated and it's over. It ain't over till God says so. The church Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There's no deep problem that God cannot solve. He said, behold, that I'm God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me to do? Hallelujah. Do you under realize the creator? He created heaven and earth, created man and woman. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There was no monkeys. There's no evolution. There's revolution. The revolution, which is a revolution, a revelation of the word of God. You got to know when you read that word and speak that word, that that word is real. That word is spirit. That word is God. It will move for you quicker. It will move and turn things around. And the church say, Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to the Lamb of God. Glory to the Lamb of God. Glory to the Lamb of God. Yes. Hallelujah. And then he said, this is what God's servant can expect. In other words, you can expect the best when you're in battle. Amen. And you don't need to expect the worst. Even though it may look worse. Even though it may look defeated. But you expect this, that God is already worked the battle. He said, when, if he said no weapon can form against you, that means expect it. That it won't form against you. Amen. Amen. Stop doubting in your heart. Faith pleases God. Amen. Believe. Faith is the supernatural force that takes back that right that belongs to you. I don't hear nobody talking. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Every time yes. you send that word out in faith, it immediately will move everything out the way. It like it say in uh, 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 Mark 11, chapter, uh, verse 22, say, have faith in God. Did he say have faith in the prophet? Did he say have faith in man? He said, have faith in God. Faith. When you have faith in God, you have faith in believing what God said in His Word. Come on, somebody, because faith is the Word of God. I don't hear nobody talking. Amen. Hallelujah, yes. Jesus, I'm the finish. It is the Word of God. Hallelujah. Then it say at verse twenty, a tweet. He said, if you speak to that mountain, be that removed and be that cast in the sea. Whatever mountain is coming against you, whatever problem is trying to challenge you, whatever your situation you're facing, it may be a hard case, but there's no hard case that God cannot solve. Hallelujah, somebody. There's no hard Hallelujah. case that God can turn around. You think you're so deep that it can't be done. But you got to know who you serve. Come on, somebody. You got to believe what the word of God say. Come on, somebody. It say with God, all things are possible. Come on. You got to believe that God will take your impossible situation and make it possible. Somebody give a praise out there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody give a glory. Hallelujah. God is already working your problem before you ask. He is looking for somebody to have the faith to believe and faith to see that Jesus can, uh, can start, help them out with their problem and perfect it and finish off for them and come out on top as victory in Jesus' name. And Call the name. My name is Victory in the mighty name of Jesus. I am more than a conqueror through Him that love me. I mean that Jesus already conquered everything that come against me, and through Him I'm able to conquer everything that come against me. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what it seems like. I don't care what you're going through.
through right now. But God said, you may be going through, but I'm going to conquer every arrow that's coming against you. Come on, somebody. I'm going to destroy the giants. Come on, somebody. You may be in the lion's den, but Jesus, they will shut up the lion, shut up the mouth of the people that come against you. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, when they put their mouth on you, he said, he's going to give you the judgment to judge them and put them down because you belong to him. And because you're a child of God, come on, somebody. He gave you the right to judge and put them down. Hallelujah. The no, no, not here. Come on, somebody. Praise his, hallelujah. praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. Somebody give him praise. praise. Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. This is what God's servants expect. I see it. To, to, he said, I will see to it that everything works out for the best. God decree. Amen. In the words, he said, what the devil meant evil, God's going to turn around and make it the best. Amen. He's going to make sure it work out the best for you because God get the best. He don't get no less but the rest. When he gave you no less, that you may be the rest that you have the best. Let me say it again. He don't give no less that you may be the rest that you may be have the best because the best is yet to come. Come on, somebody. It may look like it's not working out, but we're in a year of restoration. We're in a year of recovery. Come on, somebody. You got to stand on your feet and whatever you do, stand on God's word. Come on, somebody. And believe in God's word. Come on, somebody. And have faith that believe that God is moving for you. You can't look at the condition. You can't hear what people say. If they're not talking to face, I know you may feel maybe made me right. But right now, I'm already in the battle. Because who Report you, I believe. I'm gonna believe the report of the Lord. I've been hearing so much news report, media, and this report, that report. But I'm gonna believe what the greatest report of news is the word of God, the good news, which is the Bible. Come on, somebody. I know what the Bible can do. Come on, somebody. I know what it can stand. I know what it stands yes. for. Come on, somebody. I know where it got my back. Come on, somebody. If nobody got my back, the word of God got my back. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah, Jesus. Somebody give a praise. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, hmm. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank Be that removed. Yes, Lord. Those obstacles. Those things that come against you. Hallelujah. Maybe foreclose your home. Maybe lose your car. Maybe don't have no money in the car. Maybe don't have this and you've been faithful to God. But I'm telling you like uh, a bitch that said, get ready, get ready, get ready. Come on, somebody. Yes. God's going to show up. Hallelujah. When you least expect Come on, yes. somebody. He's going to let your enemy know that he's there by you. See, the devil has lied to you. Say, where your God at now? You say he's even closer. Come on, somebody. Because I know that the word of God says, what should I say to all these things? If God be for love. Lois, who could be against Lois? Make it personal. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The doctors say that you have COVID and might as well give up. There ain't no COVID and no sickness and disease can, can come against God. He said he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. And the chastisement of his peace was upon him. And by his stripes you are healed. Of any disease, you already healed. You are healed. I mean, where means past it, you heal already. Why can't you set the truth fight? I'm not talking about fight to fight to change. But the truth fight is the word of God. Whatever God speaks, it shall be done. Whatever God say, it will be done just like he said. Somebody give him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ain't no situations that God cannot get you out. Amen. Amen. He already a blessing. And Fisher talks about it. He already released us. You are already blessed. He already said you be blessed in everything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he said, whatever he start, he will complete. Hallelujah. He ain't going to leave you out there hopeless. He ain't going to leave you abandoned. He ain't going to abandon you. He ain't going to leave you as an orphan. Amen. Hallelujah. He's not even going to turn his back here. Come on, somebody. He's going to be there when you think he's not there. Come on. He's closer to you than you can ever imagine. Because when you take hold that word and you begin to embrace that word and believe what that word says, come on, somebody, and accept what the word of God said, it will already go. Come on, somebody. Give him praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Your bank account may be overdraft for checks, non-sufficient funds, and minors. But God could go in there and minus it. He could put some money in there. Because my Bible said the wealth of the sinners laid up for the just. See, don't get mad by the just, the unjust. We uh, ain't, ain't doing anything but getting wealthy. All they're doing is laying up for you. Come on, somebody. They're laying up the yeah. wealth for you. Come on, somebody. That's why my Bible said, fret not yourself or evil to us. Need to be innocent of the workers of iniquity. For they shall soon be cut down like green ass. Green grass and wither as the green herb. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord laughed at them. Why they laughing at you? God said He laughed at them because their day is coming. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. David made it clear. He said, David said, I was young and now I'm old. I'm a little older. I'm more mature. I was younger and I was like a novice. I didn't understand everything. I thought I understand. But the deeper I got in the word and the deeper I get to know the word and the deeper I get the revelation word. God, I've never seen the righteous forsaken and the seed begging for bread. That's why I'm going to continue to seek first the kingdom of God and this righteousness. I know the more I seek him, the more I seek him, the more I search him, the more I cry him. He's going to make sure everything be done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, my niece is already met. Church, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You're going to go to your bank and you didn't have no money in there. All of a sudden, you got uh, a call in the company, they got a thing, and uh, a, a, a commercial. I mean, I to say it. Uh, called the count say, you got about $5 million. So where that come from? God said, you've been faithful. Hallelujah. And the Bible said, if you be willing or obedient, you should eat the good of the land. And everything that's placed out here, he led it for you, not for the wicked. Amen. He led it for you, not the wicked. The devil don't own nothing. He has trick and deceive people. He deceived people and made like he own. He steals. He steals. He steals. But see, God, God you don't have to uh, don't steal because God already has already planned a purpose for you to have the best and the utmost the best. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. It's a decree of God's word. It's, it's established in God's word. It's already done in God's word. When you take hold to that word, and every time a stronghold try to pull you down, God says, speak that word, he'll tear it down. He will stop and afflict the enemy each time. You ain't got to uh, the, uh, the, get to worry about anything. And we said, let not your heart be troubled. He said, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I be afraid of? Hallelujah. I will look to the hill what's coming my help. I know my help coming from the Lord. I don't have to worry about man. I don't have to be concerned about man or animal. Uh, 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 no, nothing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Maybe just stop me from loving God. Paul made his mind. No, no, no scratch. Uh, uh, that's a heist. An angel. Anything would not be able to stop me from loving God. See, the devil wants you to stop loving God. See, the devil wants to stop with the relationship with God. If he can persuade you to believe something that's a lie, stop letting the devil persuade you. You let the spirit of persuasion come upon you by the devil to trick you as a try to uh, trick on your mind, amen. To believe working on your mind, amen. Instead of letting your mind be the mind of Christ, you that's why you got to renew your mind every day. You have to renew your mind with the word of God, begin to let it get embedded in your heart, begin to meditate on the word, begin to speak that word until it get real in your heart and it get rid of heart, then it become alive. And then when it comes alive, oh my god, I can feel it right now. Hallelujah! Oh my god, I feel the word alive in me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. In the Hallelujah. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I come to tell you today that no weapon that's out there is formed against you going to prosper. Hallelujah. You got to believe like David when he faced the giant. You got to believe like Daniel when they lied on him. Hallelujah. And put him in the lion's den. That he know that his God is able to get him out there. You got to believe that Meshach and Abednego shot right when they went to the front of the fire. You may be in that place that the fire is getting hotter and you've been attacking every end. But I come to tell you when they look in the fire, they turn the furnace up and they look that they find that, that the three Hebrew boys was not alone. But I'm telling you, you may feel like you're alone in this battle. I'm telling you that if he, they went alone, guess what? You're not alone. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Then they look and they saw him praising God, praising, praising, singing songs of rejoice. Come on, somebody. When the devil attack you, under the greatest ammunition is begin to praise God. They begin to say, Lord, I thank you. Huh? I may not understand what's going on, but I just want to thank you. I just want to thank you. I just want to thank you, Jesus. When the last time you begin to praise him, when it was God, you, you, you're too busy focus on the problem and focus on God. Amen. Amen. You allow the devil to distract you from the word of God. You allow the devil to distract you. I'm not going to church anymore because everything ain't working out for me. You're mad with the pastor, mad with everybody, but you're mad with your own self. And you got a blame syndrome on blame because you're making excuses. You have fallen into the devil trap. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. Get up of yourself and put and get up in that word and say, God, I live for my God. I die for. I know that God is on my side. I'm not about to give up. Come on, somebody. I may not understand, but the Bible says in Romans 8:28 that all things in my life is working together for good. I may not see it working out, but it's already working out because He loves, because I love Him. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 I'm going to tell you today, and I'm going to close out. That's all I have to tell you. You got to grasp on the word and believe what the word said. That's it. Get your faith alive. Come on, somebody. Yes. Meditate on the word to get 
alive in you. Hallelujah. No weapon, no weapon. They told me I gotta get out today. They told me I'm gonna lose my car. They told me I'm gonna lose my job. They told me all this gonna happen. They told me all this ain't happening. They, ain't they told me I had cancer. They told me I had this here. But my Bible said that no weapon, 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 no weapon that is formed against me shall succeed me to a prosper. Hallelujah. And every tongue that risen against me, that shall condemn me, that he's at, he gonna give me the responsibility to condemn them each time they try to challenge me. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He gave you the okay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. For this is the heritage of the saints of God. And because we belong to the highest royal primate, amen, royal than anybody else. Ain't nobody royal more than God. Hallelujah, family. Yeah. Hallelujah. No fam local family uh, family here in the nation are, are more powerful than a fa the family of God. Hallelujah. This is the, uh, the, for the sake of God. I mean, he's already vindicated for you. He already working for you. He's already fighting the battle for you. It ain't your battle anyway. Stand still and know that this ain't your battle. Let the Lord fight your battle. Start trying to fight it. What you think is here. That's why you're not winning. But when you begin to stand in the word and speak that word in faith and keep on saying it, keep on saying it till it gets in your spirit and it gets alive and it's all oh, I got it now. I got it. I got it. I got it. Jesus of Nazareth. Then all of a sudden things will start changing. But what good to say it if you don't believe what you're saying? Not only you don't believe it, you have not accept what you're saying. Hallelujah. Amen. You got to believe it and accept it. What the word says. Then he goes down to Mark uh, 24, Lamb 24 say, What sort of things you desire when you pray, believe, you receive it, and it shall be done. Amen. It means desire has to be the same way in God. If you believe in God's word and you can speak that word, it shall come to pass according to his word. Amen. His will. Amen. It's already done. The devil has deceived you, and then they send people to see you because you're too close to your breakthroughs. You're too close to your miracles. You're too close to your turnaround. God has already sent help. You may not see it, but help is on the way. Help is already on the way. Come on, somebody. Yes. Hallelujah. Well, then know that God got your back. Know this, God is for you. Who could be against you? No weapon that formed against you shall prosper in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go to Christ's name. Hallelujah. That's it right there. It's done. You just got to believe in something. Amen. Amen. And run with it. Amen. It's already done. Hallelujah. Your challenge is nothing that God has already challenged for you. Already has defeated the enemy for you. Already made it for you to win each time. Hallelujah. And sometimes it may take longer, but that's okay. The, the longer, the bigger, the whatever it is, it's giving a short number because Jesus is coming back. Jesus, on his way back, are you ready? Come on, somebody. Don't let the devil push you down and pull you back and give up. You're too close to your breakthrough and miracles. God has answered your prayers. Amen. Hallelujah. When you choose to believe and receive in obedience, it's best to obey than sacrifice. You will see what God says. I know you got a prophecy and won't manifest until you believe it. Amen. But God sent his word. You got to say it against your prophecy. No weapon form against my prophecy that my, uh, my promise shall prosper. Amen. It's already prosper in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You got to speak in faith. There may be somebody need to be touched out there. Amen. It needs to know Jesus. All you got to do is say, Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of my sin. I ask you to cleanse me. Make me whole. I renounce my old ways. I renounce my ways. Amen. And I serve Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Welcome into the family. Let's make it even better. This, this, uh, get filled with the Holy Ghost. Now I'm going to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. The evidence of tongues. That I want more power. That I want more in the spirit. That I might have more revelation and understanding. Will open up my eyes. That I will see more and hear more. What the spirit has to say. And I won't be ignorant. But I have to be knowledgeable of what God is saying. Amen. And if you amen. receive it, say, I want to see the gift of the Holy Ghost. He will come upon you, amen, with, uh, with, with clothes of fires on your tongue. And you're going to start speaking in a language you never heard before. And at your belly shall flow rivers of living fire. It's like a stem of lift. You're going to da da let it come out, let it say, amen, hallelujah. And you're going to walk more in the spirit. You're going to see more in the spirit. And then you're going to go, let it be done, hallelujah. hallelujah. And you'll never be the same, hallelujah. 
You say, oh, maybe the one uh, uh, backslide, all you got to do is slide back in. He said, if we faithful and uh, 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 confess our faults to one another, he's faithful to forgive us and make us righteous again. All you got to uh, this, this say it. You're wrong when you're wrong because the Bible says we have all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But you got to say it. You got to confess it. Now, if you don't confess it, ain't going to be no turnaround change. Amen. You're still the same. Come on, somebody. You're still lost. Staying lost out there. That's all it is easy. Praise God. All I know, whatever you're going through right now, God is already moving for you. Let him make that change in you. Embrace that change in order for the change to happen to you. That's what salvation is, a change of heart, a change of way of living. You live in the Bible said when you become a Christ, you become a new creature. All things pass away. Behold, all things become brand new. Let go and let God have his way. Amen. Forgetting those things and forgive Amen. and forget and, and release that. That's God's divine will connection. He did it for you when you walk in love. And that you be able to experience the blessing that God has for you. You're missing out what God has for you because you listen to a fool, the devil. Don't let him deceive you. Remember that Jesus came that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Amen. Be blessed in Jesus' name. All announcements made by Prophets Natalie. We'll be back on, on, on uh, Friday. Amen. Wednesday, I have school of prophet. Amen. I'll be on. Uh, you can't be on there unless you have register. Amen. And the apostles and, and uh, all the fivefold gifts is, uh, is taught by the Holy Spirit through me. Amen. It's been a blessing. And Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, Prophecy Natalie is on. Amen. Prayer. Join her in prayer. Amen. And we just thank God for you. Just listen to us today. And I know you're going to be blessed. And know that Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon form against you shall prosper. No weapon form against you shall prosper. Every tongue that has talked about you, lied about you, accused of, of, of you, that shall condemn you. God said he's going to give you this, the opportunity to judge those, what they said and make them a liar when they're trying to make you a liar by the devil trying to use them to bring you down. Amen. And he said, this is a heritage of saying because you are the heritage of Jesus Christ. Amen. You, uh, He's, he's going to vindicate for you. He's already fighting for you. Fight your battle. Amen. Hallelujah. Once you know we be blessed, we love you. Amen. No evil shall befall you. And and no place shall come to your dwelling. The Lord is going to have an angel in charge. Watch over thee. Amen. And we ask you to plant the seed. Do your best. Amen. We stay with this uh, uh, first fruit. Amen. And if you're a member here, your tithes are offering and you say, Apostle, I believe it. Amen. I've been blessed. Amen. Plant your best. Amen. Prophet is Natalie. We put all the information up where you can plant your seed. Amen. If you want to know about, more about the ministry. Amen. Amen. Uh, truly a woman of God. Both of them are woman of God. Prophet Natalie. And my assistant, Prophet is Tina Cash. Amen. Amen. She assists. She's not my secretary. She is my assistant. She is also a prophetess of God. And she also ministers as well under me. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. So uh, uh, make sure you uh, uh, call her and uh, you want to know all information. Amen. I'd like to be a disciple in this ministry. We welcome you here. If you want to hear the truth, amen. Not lies, but tell the truth. Not backstabbing the back because too many people backstabbing. Call her and uh, prophet Natalie will give you all the information. Amen. We love you uh, and, and be be encouraged. The best is yet to come. Remember Isaiah 54, 17. No weapon that's out there, it won't work. Amen. Be encouraged. Jesus love you. Throw some loving kisses. Bye-bye.